Let's look at what's going on with the stereo bus. So I've got the SSL going and I have the germaniums going and I have the curve bender is in, but it's really just to bring the level down. Although when you put in a curve bender, it tends to open up a bit in sound. I don't know, it's going through all the circuits and it just, uh, it feels really good. So even if there's no EQ, it, it opens up the sound a little bit. So uh, inherently by, by activating the curve bender, it's doing something to it. You know, the last thing I want to do on this track, on this record, is to get it to sound overly compressed. That was a complaint that they'd had uh, that they wanted to avoid. So I made sure of that. And let's see, we go to the chorus where it's generally louder. Let's see how much is going on. It's, you know, it's barely three. I mean, this is the standard of, of what it's setting. And, you know, and it's, uh, it's at 30 to one, four ratio one release so it's really quick and I just got enough and it just sits there and it's just playing it's really it's it's just it's just taming it a tiny tiny bit is you know and then the germaniums are same thing because the blend that I have it's a wet dry blend leaning way more towards dry like at about two o'clock so what you're seeing there is really not compression but just how the input is going in and it's again it's slight but you add all this up you add all little things i'm doing and then you, you still got a lot of level still punchy the perceived level is louder than it seems to be just because that's what multi-bus compression can do you know it's just small it's again on this particular track i'm just doing a little bit a lot of places and it adds up and it feels natural all right so let's see how this works at at my seminar what i do is i show i'll put up the tracks um, and i'll just send it to the stereo bus without any of my abcd and then i'll uh, i'll do it again with my processing on it now it's going to be a little bit different because on some of these I'm doubling up. For example, the the guitar solo. But for now, we're just going to let's see what happens. I'm just going to do the B part of section of the verse, going into the chorus, on, um, and let's see what that sounds like the way it is now. And then if I just put everything to the stereo. Okay, so now we'll just take all that off and put it through to A and see what happens. Oh no, we'll bypass all of that. Now oh, I have an idea. I'll take B off, take C off, take D off, and then we'll just send stuff to here. So, same section, now just going to the stereo. Everything seems to be just going to the stereo. Let's see what happens.
is cracked and there's nowhere to run. I know, I know, this house is not for sale. I said each stone and I hammered each nail. This house is not for sale. When memories live and my dream don't fail. This house is not for sale. Some of the blends aren't right because it's if I'm going to buses A and D, it's obviously more gain. So the balances are a bit off on the vocals. But you can hear the difference between the openness and the excitement of when I'm using ABC as opposed to when I'm not. So it's uh, to me, it's pretty obvious uh, just why I use ABCD.